question, which is, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good. And then <laughs> I will. Uh, I want to. I want to uh, ask you how, like. What is it like to live through this film again, watching it? It was obviously such a very personal film, uh, some painful moments, some very positive moments by the end as well. Um, but is it a catharsis to watch it? How do you, what, are, what, are, what are the complicated feelings that you're going through as you, as you worked on the film and as you watch it now? Uh, it's very difficult to watch it. It does get easier and easier. Um, I'm always advised to not watch it, but I really do enjoy uh, sharing it with an audience. and. Uh, the most rewarding part is the Q&A and when I um, get to really uh, hear what people have to say and um, lots of hugs and stuff like that. Perfect. Uh, and uh, I want to ask also about uh, your sister's work. Is it, in a, is it cataloged in a way? Is it available to the public? Do you have any plans on, on getting it beyond the uh, exhibit at Bellevue? Uh, is it out there in any other kind of way or plans for it? I wish I could tell you that the artwork was out there, but it's actually back in storage. Um, I'm still not quite ready to part with it yet, but we are very excited that it's going to be back at Bellevue, and um, hopefully for a very, very long time. And um, what's the date of it coming back? November 30th, it okay. opens, and it'll be up definitely through December, and ideally into the new year. Great. And can I ask Toby, uh, with the putting this together, structure-wise, um, you're, again, dealing with a very personal kind of project. Can you talk a little bit about the challenges in sort of finding the structure of the film? Um, just sort of what, how that happened for you? Um, I think, actually, the biggest challenge was giving Ruth a voice. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, there were a lot of challenges, obviously, many emotional ones. But in terms of structuring the film, it was trying to create as much an equal balance between Hope's voice and Ruth's voice. And thanks to this genius, Joy Reid, who did all the animation of the Great. journals, um, I, I feel like we achieved that. Excellent. Um, I can jump in again, but I'd love to hear, I'd love to have the opportunity to have the audience have questions uh, and talk to the filmmakers up here. Don't be shy. Anyone? Yes, please. <laughs> it's this is incredible. This is like there used to be an old TV show. This is your life. Mm -hmm. I so, <laughs> yeah. so grateful for all the people that are here. So many faces I didn't expect to see. Um, we have not done that specifically. We do have um, an outreach plan that is really coming together with. Um, we're really lucky to have an outreach producer, Lise. Lise King, um, but every time I show it at a festival, I mean, because of the film's name, it's sort of a self-selecting audience. So yes, there are a lot of people who stand up and share their experience with suicide, and um, it's been incredibly rewarding because um, it's maybe sometimes the first time the person has told anyone that they had the same experience, and that's incredibly moving. But I would love for Beth to tell a little bit more about um, some of the outreach stuff that we're working on and really excited about. Um, yeah, so we're really excited. We, uh, from the very start, had a vision for an impact, cam impact campaign. And now that the film is done, we are really starting to solidify um, partnerships um, around the f and, and certainly around the film's broadcast, which will be December 7th, um, 8 o'clock, HBO. And uh, so we can't call it any, we, there, we, we can't kind of name our partners at the moment because we're still in discussions, but we've got some really great organizations, um, local, state, national, that look like they are coming on board. And the goal is to get people to share their own experiences, feel less alone, um, find communities of support and to destigmatize mental illness and suicide. Excellent. Um, can I ask, uh, did, have your, I'm assuming your friends and family have watched the film. Can you talk about sort of reactions? Um, do you feel like, uh, if you talk a little bit about sort of showing it to them and, and for the first time? Um, the people that I'm closest with uh, 
really do not enjoy the film. Um, and I, and I, it's, that comes from a place of love because they live through the whole thing with me. And, you know, a, a movie is only 85 minutes or, you know, it has a, it has a, a requisite end. And, you know, it looks like in the film that I get sober in 30 days. And in fact, that's not the truth at all. And um, so the people closest to me uh, really, it's really tough for them to watch. And my husband does not watch it. Mm. And I totally understand that. And that's, and that's really fair. And um, I, I respect how he feels about that. Absolutely. I do think that there's a lot of support around suicide prevention. And sometimes people don't really want to recognize the fact that people do complete the act and that for each person that commits suicide, there's maybe eight loved ones and, and friends left behind devastated and, the, and they really need our support. And um, that's something we're hoping to work on. So I'm really grateful that you're here. Thank you. Great, thank you. you there's a question right behind you. Thank you. That's very kind. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Other questions? Uh, yes, in the very back. I visited, I visited my sister many times, many different hospitals all throughout New York City, and um, she would usually wake up and say, I want my comforter, I want my pillow, I want my lipstick, and I want my camera. And um, she was usually feeling pretty good afterwards, and um, that was very confusing. And, um, but of course, my mom and I uh, would do whatever she wanted and, and try and make her as comfortable as we could. But yes, there were, there were definitely a lot of hospital visits. I'm asked that question a lot. No. Sorry, the question was, uh, was the process of making a, the film cathar cathartic at all? Yes, was the process of making the film cathartic, and um, the answer is no. But um, sharing the film uh, is incredibly healing and is really uh, a surprise that, and a gift that I, I'm really happy through festivals and, and that sort of thing to be able to share the film. And, that, and that's helping me uh, put the whole experience in a different place. When you began, did you have a sense of, of what you would be including and what you wouldn't be including, or you were just kind of organically put it, pulling it together as you just sort of were documenting what was in the storage locker or in the you know of her remaining things? I definitely, I definitely had the plan to um, empty the storage locker. Uh, Dan Gold and I had a lot of conversations about how we wanted the film to look, um, that we wanted it to be beautiful, like my sister's art, and. Um, I think Dan definitely achieved that. And from there, it was really organic. I mean, I could never have predicted that I was going to drink and, and all the aftermath. So um, it, it went from there. I mean, Joy is so incredible at animating her journals. I never asked her to change a single frame. Wow, great. I mean, she so gave my sister a voice, and I really appreciate that. That's wonderful. We have time for one more. That's not a quick question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, I hadn't talked to Hope in a long time, and she asked me to meet her. And we, I went to a diner, and she laid out the diaries on the table. And uh, that was the beginning. Um, you know, a, a lot of it was, was very challenging because we kind of went through what you went through to some degree. Not at... 2.30 in the morning, but um, we went through a lot of it, and we, I think that scene with Beth, you know, there was, there was a lot of that. We were, just, we were trying to help you make a film, but not let it go too far, but what was too far, and what's our role in letting it go too far, and uh, that, was, that was a constant balancing act and a dance that we all had to do together. 
Well, I want to thank you all so much for your for this brave film and for sharing it with us uh, and for sharing it with Doc NYC. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.